Hi. This video is an introduction to the IOAT flight plan. IOAT stands for Improved Operational Air Traffic. It is a new development promoted by member states and Eurocontrol and it was supported by CSER. The aim of the IOAT flight plan is to facilitate military IFR operations and harmonize flight planning procedures. Since an IOAT flight plan is foremost OAT, this is the definition of OAT. OAT is for flights that do not comply with GAT provisions and are mostly operated by military agencies. The IOAT flight plan is based on the ICAO flight plan 2012 format adapted for OAT needs. Now let's look at the geographical scope. The initial implementation is for three pilot states, France, Belgium, and Germany. You can see the lateral limits. The vertical limits are as follows. Note that Belgium encompasses Luxembourg. MUAC is included and the Netherlands from ground to flight level 245 are not included. An IOAT flight shall always remain laterally and vertically within the airspace described here. In order to declare a flight as IOAT, EUR slash OAT shall be included in item 18 of the flight plan. As a result, the flight or portion of flight in OAT becomes visible for IFPS who then performs the checking and the addressing. This is an example with a mixed flight, GAT followed by OAT. The GAT portion is visible while the OAT portion is invisible. This is shown now within the root field. When EU or slash OAT is added, the OAT portion becomes IOAT and the entire route visible. Let's have a walk through some supporting documentation. First is the Eurocontrol guidelines for a harmonized and improved OAT flight plan implementation. It describes the context, harmonized guidelines, and requirements. Then there is a flight plan for military operational air traffic which gives details on the implementation by the three pilot states. Finally the IFPS user's manual. There is a section dedicated to the IOAT flight plan. Section 99 covers now EUR slash protected and EUR slash OAT. Thanks a lot for listening. Goodbye.